All right, guys, today I watched a video from an up and coming YouTuber. Shout out to a guy called Sam Butcher. Uh, he played this game, What Beats Rock Game. Basically, rock, paper, scissors, but you can use literally anything. While I watched Sam playing, it kind of seemed like there was this goal to get 30 in a row. I haven't really seen that many other people playing this game yet. So today we are going to lay down the gauntlet. We're going to get 30 and that's it. That's our goal. I don't know how hard it is. I've never played this game before in my life. But here we are. Okay, now to start off with, there's a couple of other game modes down here. I think what we'll do is we'll play through a few of those, get a bit of a vibe for it, and then we're gonna come in strong here and get the big 30. Least rarest to rarest. Okay, sure. Okay, what's rarer than waking up? Well, so you wake up every day. So something that's less than every day, uh, going to work. That's definitely, you do that less than you wake up. Waking up is a daily occurrence, while going to work is not a guarantee for everyone. Doesn't that make it less, doesn't that make it more rare? Okay, let's try again. Eating cereal. I don't know if it's the game. I don't know if it's me, but what do you mean? If you wake up every single day and you don't eat cereal every single day, isn't cereal rarer? Eating cereal is more common than waking up. No, I don't even want to play this. How do I go to a different game? Name a Mr. Beast challenge. Okay, okay, so uh, crazier challenge than I made a self-driving car. Okay, I made a self-driving rocket. I mean, that's gotta be, right? Yeah. Rockets are way cooler than cars. I made a self-drive rocket. Yeah, I made a... Uh, this is classic um, Mr. Beast ideation right here. I made a self-driving rocket and launched it to, to Mars. I mean, it's got to be more, right? Like, it's the same, but then you went... You go crazier. Two self-driving rockets and played golf on them against them. Hey, honestly... Mr. Beast, you should hire me. These ideas are straight off the dome. Let's just get away from, <laughs> let's get away from the rocket thing. Let's try something else. Let's see how, let's test this AI and see what it really thinks. Let's stick with the golf thing. I made a across the world, you know, like you got to say the same thing, but differently and completed it in a day. Guys, I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, let's try what, the, what egg, egg. I can't help but feel like this, this is going to be a, one of those flash in the pan kind of websites. What egg, egg? Okay. Yes, an egg. Mm hmm. Egg contains egg. Bacon and egg roll. Bacon and egg roll contains egg. Is that what we're doing here or what egg? Bacon and egg roll. I don't understand the question. Cheeseburger. No egg. So is it literally just you had to say things that have egg on them? Is that like all it was? Because that doesn't get progressively harder. That is just a matter of how many things in your brain you already know have egg in them. Quiche. Egg salad. Egg salad contains egg. Eggs on toast. Both have eggs. You're not wrong. Uh, you guys ever heard, heard of a toad in a hole? Everyone calls it different things, but I grew up calling it a toad in a hole. It's when you get a piece of toast and you cut a hole in it and then you cook the, you toast the, to, you toast the toast on a frying pan and you cook, you put the egg in the hole and it kind of becomes this like eggy toast thing. Butter the toast. It's great. Anyway, toad in a hole. If you call it something different, let me know in the comments. What about if we had chicken? Chicken, no egg. All right, let's play the real thing. We're gonna get 30 right here. It's not even gonna be hard. What beats rock? Paper, yeah, easy. What beats paper? Now, I think the key here is to stay kind of small, right? Like, keep it chill. We don't wanna get to, we don't wanna get into tools. We don't wanna get into vehicles. We don't wanna get into like intergalactic yet. We just need to keep it really chill. What beats paper? Staple, sure does. What beats a staple? Stapler. Is that too far? Staple. Remover, staple remover, rip it on out. It's the little claw thing, right? This is controversial. Rubber band, because it, it like ties it shut. It's the same as how paper beats rock. So, you know, the theory works. Let's go, let's go. We're on the same, we're on the same wavelength here. This is good. Uh, what beats rubber band? It needs to be sharp because I think rubber band in, a, in, this, in this metaphorical fight we're having here, I think a rubber band is surprisingly versatile. What's this scissors? I think, I think we may as well at this point. We may as well get to scissors. We've bumped up a little bit. I know we've gone from like stationary to like the bigger section of stationary. That's okay. Okay, what beats scissors? Now, I think what we need to do here is we need to try and we need to dull it back down again. Okay, so we've got scissors. We need to stop them from being so sharp, you know, like uh, something like, I mean, a rock would be really convenient, but I have a feeling you can't just repeat the same thing because then you could just, you could just do paper, scissors, rock endlessly. Uh, either way, it's going to void the 30, which we're not allowing. Maybe I'll just go stone. It's not a rock, surely. Like a stone is not a rock. 
Yeah. Stone smashes scissors. What beats a stone? Trying to keep it chill. In fact, maybe we go down the same path we already have and we go with like, instead of just going paper, let's go newspaper. Yeah, newspaper covers stone. I don't understand how paper beats rock in the first place, but I'll tell you something. Paper beats rock, newspaper definitely beats stone. What beats newspaper? A hole punch. Okay, so uh, what are we up to? Hole punch, okay. Hole punch is kind of like does this kind of thing, ching ching. So I think to beat that, we can go with like pliers. Definitely a stronger metal. Like they're basically the same thing, but pliers are like a hardened steel, you know? So that should be a, pliers can't even fix a hole, let alone punch one. No, it's not about the hole, it's about the hole punch. Are you joking? I'm not happy about that, AI. I'm not happy about that and neither is this one other person. We're here to learn and we'll heed the warning that we need to get a bit more aggressive. Once we start getting into tools, I think we need to get a bit more aggressive. I think that's fair, you know? Like I think if we said hammer there, I think we're through. All right, let's play again. Uh, yeah, paper beats rock, that's fine. Stick it shut, right? Yeah. Okay, what beats sticky tape? Dust. D oh, but how do you beat dust? No, we're good. Let's let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what beats dusk? The small one called Dustbuster. Dustbuster is designed to suck up dust. That's exactly right. All right, what beats Dustbuster? Let's let's start getting into things that are like household objects that are like kind of that size. You know, like literally in a matchup, skateboard smashes a dustbuster right exactly i'm the first person to do that there you go what beats a skateboard screwdriver that's how you pull them apart yeah i'm the first person again i mean people just obviously aren't going with skateboard here okay what beats a screwdriver that's good we're kind of back here again this is nice this is the kind of world we want to play in i think it's pretty tough yeah let's do it let's do it you can grind it up yeah we can do this i think just like a saw like a hand saw right you can just like cut it in half for sure yeah. Okay, what beats a handsaw? What do we think about like a microwave or something like that, you know? Or a cricket bat? That's good. Oh, nah, saw cuts a cricket bat for sure. Let's just type in metal, baseball bat. First person again. I mean, this is a unique route, that's for sure. What beats a baseball bat? Or even just like something that's going to ding it up, you know? Hacksaw. Hacksaw is made for cutting metal. Let's go. Now we've got a hacksaw. We're gonna start getting some big tools here. I think a hammer is the go here. And I would like, I would say a lot of people are going hammer on like number three or four, right? So I feel like, you know, it's not too bad, not too bad. Uh, now to beat a hammer too soon for a sledgehammer, it's really a demolition object, isn't it? A sledgehammer. Could go like a tradie, but then we're just getting into people world. So let's try and stay out of that for now as well. I know, like we're gonna get there, I think. So I'm really like, I know it feels like going in circles, but I think we really need to hold back now. I think it's going to pay dividends later on down the track. Okay, now Hammer is still got a, a timber handle. So I'm thinking like something that can either light it on fire or cut it in half. I guess we could go with a drop saw. Drop saw is going to cut it in half for sure. Now we've got a bit of drop saw. Maybe it's time we just start going physically larger, you know? Let's go sledgehammer first. It just has to. Yeah. And now I think it's time we start opening up. I think we're starting to start starting getting bigger because sledgehammer can beat a lot of things that's for sure battle axe i think the sledgehammer wins i really need to think something that could stomp like stomp it out you know i don't know if we can just cut the handle off it again and we've already kind of used all our saw options as far as i'm aware i haven't checked the shed but i can't think of any other saws that i have i think we go for like an elephant here because an elephant can easily stomp out a sledgehammer I don't want to see this battle for the record. I don't think this is a good idea. I just think the elephant's going to win. Okay. And that's, I need that because I need, I mean, why did I go an elephant? Now I have to try and, now I have to do things in a beaten elephant. This feels horrible. I mean, there's obvious answers, right? Like IRL stuff. Rifle. I don't like it, but it's true. Pack of wolves. Take down elephant. Cheetahs. I don't like this. I feel like we're just getting into animal battles that I don't really want to see in real life happen at all. We need to dial it back somehow. I'm doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay, what can be a ruffle? What about a bulletproof vest? It's got it, right? Literally, it's what it is. What can we cut through? Teflar. Teflon. Teflar. What's it called? Kevlar. <laughs> Kevlar with uh do we just go obscure again here you know like do we just go like literally like a house speeding car that just like you know like i just want to seal the deal for the ai 
It's not just a car. It's a speeding car. Like, whatever's in it is going to get hit by a speeding car. Yeah. Yeah, guess what? I'm the first person to do that too. How about that? Next, what beats a speeding car? Cops. <laughs> but again, I don't want to then have to say what beats cops because this game gets pretty horrible pretty quick. Once it starts getting real, uh, spike strip. That's law enforcement right there. Yeah. What beats a spike strip? Probably a pogo stick. And if, if we pull this off right here, which I think we just have. We've gone big and we've brought it right back into a little kid's toy, you know? I love that. All right, what beats a pogo stick? Okay, so pogo stick, you're kind of like jumping around. Something slippery, like oil. And then what would we say beats oil? Not sure, just like an uneven surface. Let's just dial it up a little bit. We need to play it safe. We're at 19, we need to play it a little bit safe to try and just like secure the AI. Like just make sure it definitely understands where we're coming from here. Motorbike. I mean, it's just, it's just a, it's just a superior form of transport, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. And guess what? We're the first person to beat that too. What's going to beat a motorbike? Maybe we just go for a regular old car now. It just does. Like in every way. Exactly. What beats a car? Uh, concrete wall, tree, and then we can go into like fire. No, bad, dangerous. Metal, shredder. I think I need to write car shredder. I'm so scared. I'm so, I'm so scared. We're too far in. We're too far in. Yeah, car shredder, of course. Okay, what beats car shredder? I'm trying to think about, you know, those videos where the people put stuff in the shredders? Like what what would beat the shredder? Sometimes you see like a balloon or something, but I feel like it's too risky. I think we need to go big here, like a house. Yeah. First person. House is way bigger than car shredder. Yeah, it's like comparing a skyscraper to a toaster. Well, it's funny you say that. Because what beats a house? A skyscraper, right? It's the same thing, but bigger. Yeah. What beats a skyscraper? A whole city. I mean, it's undeniable in the logic that they just used. All right, we're at 25, guys. What beats a whole city? A country. Country. Yeah, it's bigger. What beats a country? A continent. There's no countries that have continents within them, but there is continents that have countries within them. It has to work. Beautiful. What beats continent? We're at 27. So I think we're safe to go Earth here um, because it's just bigger. Uh, it's a part of the Earth, not the other way around. Exactly. And on that exact same logic, I know this isn't unique. I'm sure I'm sure there's been a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people guess the sun over Earth. That's fine. But what beats the sun? The whole solar system. I told you this gets big real quick. You know, once you get to this point, it starts getting big. Yeah. What's bigger than the solar system? I don't know. Maybe a galaxy? Galaxy. Yeah. What beats, what's a galaxy? I don't know. Black hole? I don't actually know. Okay, sure. What beats a black hole? I don't know. Maybe the known universe? It's a tiny part of the known universe. Tiny. What lies beyond? Scary to think about. Yeah. Surprisingly, I'm the first person to think that. What beats beyond the known universe? Beyond the known parallel universe. That's fair because actually it's kind of like the same thing. It would be a, it would be a tie, I think. Anyway, we got 34. So guess what? We came out here to get 30. We got 34. I don't know what Sam Butcher ended up on. Should we have a look? I can't actually remember. Basically, like, how do you beat, like, a, a power outage? Uh, generators. I feel like that's a decent answer. You have, like, well, you know what? I am not completely upset about this because we got to level 20. Okay, so I thought 30 was the goal. But apparently 20 is the goal. Sam Butcher, I'm calling you out right now. If you're watching this, bring it on. The gauntlet's been set. 34, see how you go. See how you go. I don't want to see any copying, by the way. I don't see you copy my answers, all right? Hopefully you liked that. Hopefully you had a good time. If you did, subscribe, stick around. Hey, why don't you watch this video right here? YouTube thinks you're gonna like this one. And while you're here, subscribe. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.